Hey, what's up guys? Steve from Scotch and Things. I told you I would do a comparison video on these two knives since they are so similar and look alike. And we'll move them around so you can see <clears throat> size difference. I didn't bring any SNGs or SMFs down with me because I'm an idiot, but here's a DOC. It's roughly the size of a, an SMF. This is the RCC, this is the RC. RC is bigger. Put them all butt to butt so you can see. And then move them around. So you can see them. This isn't great. I'm not really good at doing comparison videos. We'll just go over a couple of the differences. They're not differences, the similarities and differences. Because like look at like looking at these two, you look real quick and they look very similar. <coughs> and it's hard to well and if it's hard if you don't have a point of reference, um God, I screwed everything up now. Like a point of reference for size. Um okay. So, frame lock, both frame locks, and you can look and see at the, the size. One thing right there, you can see the frame lock, how thin the lock bar is on the RCC, RCC, RC. Compare it, and I think the Dwyer's, someone, I think the Dwyer's might be even thicker <coughs> from what I've heard. Um... I've never seen, an, so the, again, these are all just what I've read and this and that, so um, take them with what you want and then do your own research. The RCC frame locks are a little bit harder to come by. I think they were less made. That's why there's some confusion when people see them. They're like, no, that's an RC. Usually these came in <coughs> um, double gunner grip. It was the double gunner grip pattern on both sides, and it was a liner lock knife. That's why a lot of people think there was just, the RCC was just a liner lock, when in fact they did make frame locks. Um, I've only seen them with the shinier titanium, like a polished titanium, where on the RCs I've seen these in different colors, but this has got that flamed titanium with some blues and purples in it you can see the backspacer okay um i have seen i've never seen someone actually have one i've seen a picture of a prototype rcc that was like a lego g10 um the flat uh, g10 scales but i've never actually seen that out in the wild where where i've seen a lot of the this uh double gunner grip um this one is the tad edition i don't know if all the rcc frame locks were tad editions you can see the logo right there this one is a custom you can see by the m strider right there really old striders his customs were marked m strider that was before he started signing the choil um i don't think i've ever seen anything i've seen was there a custom, a full, like a, I think I've seen a real crazy, like sculpted tie handle custom um, and different custom blades and Dwyer's, Dwyer did his too and most of his were, all the ones I've seen were Tantos, it was, so it didn't have the recurve, just a straight blade and then a Tanto blade. Um, but again, could be wrong. Like I, this is just the pictures I found and stuff like that. Uh, roughly, <clears throat> from what I can find, these came these these start. This was first. This was second. Uh, around two thousand five. Um, from the stuff I've been able to read, these were debuted 
at like shot or not shot show uh, blade show 2005 they ran until about 2009 these were the, this is i'm guessing one of the earlier ones um i think this was one of the later runs um tiger striping blade this would be not super late i think this was because of the the blade the all the ones i've seen like the later additions for these and these i've never seen one though that wasn't tiger striped or blasted um the blades were stone washed um but i've never seen one on a, a frame lock only on a on a, a liner lock knife so this one has the tritium inserts i don't know if those were original or those were originally from a tad knife I know the triple lot design knives regularly sometimes would have these. Um, so if someone knows, let me know. Uh, this is just how they came. So, and I got them from uh, different, <coughs> two different people. So, um, what else can I say? That's just, I just kind of wanted to give you a size reference for these two knives and some differences to look for. Like I said, I've never seen, I've seen, these are, these are both rare, but as far as the RCC goes, I've never, like I said, when it's been the frame lock, it's always been the shinier polished tie. Um, I haven't seen a flamed one yet. doesn't mean there's not a flamed one yet. I, that's just maybe how they differentiated them. I don't know. Uh, and a majority of these are going to be the double gunner grip. Um, G10 liner lock. So, and then also, like I said, that giveaway is the lock bar. Look how thin the, I want to say liners, but these aren't liners. This is a full titanium knife with just a G10 overlay. So you can see, see the full tie in there. So yeah, just wanted to do a quick one for you guys. Nothing too fancy. If you guys have anything to add on these knives, uh, let me know down in the comments below. Drop it down if you've got some more facts or something. Um, it's really too bad they don't make these anymore. These are just beautiful knives. Very ergonomic. Um, they fill the hand great, just like any Strider does. I don't know how he does it, but it's like every Strider I've ever touched just feels amazing in hand. So... Really glad to have both of these. A couple of my favorites, actually. I'm carrying this one in pocket today. I've been carrying this thing since I've got it. Um, switched it up, put this one away today. I just brought it out for the video. And wanted to carry, give this one some, some pocket time. So, along with, what else am I carrying today? So, yeah. There you go, guys. Like I said, drop your comments below. Let me know what you think. If you have any facts to add or anything I missed or maybe messed up on, like I said, just not a whole lot of information out. You have to go digging for the information on these. And like I said, what I could find on time frames and 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 what, what they used to build, what they build them with and how they, you know, changed finishes over time. Like I said, this one went from Tiger Stripe to like the last ones. I don't even know how many were made. I don't, I don't think there's a whole lot of them out there floating around. I wouldn't mind getting a, a G10 version RCC. Um, but yeah, very cool knives. Very happy to have them. There you go. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll talk to you later. Bye.